Hello, everyone. How's it going? Because you had a bad day. Do, 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 do. Yeah, she was. Go join her. Go join her. Go join her. Wow, did you hear that on the wind? It sounded like someone said, go join her. Hi. <laughs> you want to know what gets my bile churning? I would love to, my Edgewater dude. Edgewater has suffered a cavalcade of disasters. Plague, marauders, desertion. Then you wandered in town. And I was so damn sure our luck was starting to turn. I never <laughs> knew how right I was. Just answer one question for me. Why'd you do it? Because you seem like a slimy bastard, is why. It's not personal, I need your power regulator. I don't owe you an explanation to teach you a lesson. Is that right? I'm dying to hear this. Please, educate me. Adelaide had the right idea, had to make you see that. You're slaves and liberating you. Life is full of betrayals, I'm just the most recent one. You're a horrible person and you deserve everything that's coming to you. See, I think he's a slave to the company. Obviously, like, refusing medicine to people is bad. But at the same time, they don't have enough medicine for everyone. So there has to be some way of making the choice. And if you're working for a company and the company says the way you make that choice is productivity-based, then you kind of just got to go along with what they say. I don't... He doesn't seem like a horrible person. He's not evil. But he's definitely corporate doing what the... Doing what the company says. I'm going to go with this one. Liberating? Edgewater is my home. The only home I've ever had. I put down roots here. Gave decades of my life to this place. I never asked to be liberated. Yeah, well, Whatever you, you have been. Whatever you hoping to find down here, I advise you to turn around and leave. I have got guards posted with orders to fire on you. Guards are about to have a real bad day. Shit. I don't have Intimidate 30. Oh, no. Apologies won't give us our lives back. But for what it's worth, I am sorry too. Edgewater's dead. Our cannery's dead. Adelaide's deserters are never coming back. Space's choice will shut us down before long. Some of us will die of illness by then. Some will move on. Some will starve. And as for me, I will tender my resignation, whereupon I shall be processed and then duly imprisoned for gross incompetence. Feels bad. Oh, feels bad that I don't have Intimidate 30. What do I have? Uh, wait. Here. Intimidate 26. Oh. Shit. Sorry, guards. Okay, that still does work pretty well on them, you know. That'll get the job done. Thank you. Oh, man. If only I had four more points in it. Oh, hello. <laughs> Four more points in it and I could have intimidated him into taking them away and no one would have had to die. God damn it. That is so unfortunate. So unfortunate. Sorry everyone. Sorry sprats. Retrieve the power regulator. Done and done. Return to the unreliable. Where's my dude gone? Does he not want to know how I just murdered all his friends? Well, probably not friends, but guards. You and I have got nothing more to say to each other. Okay. I could kill you. But I'm not going to because I'm a lovely person. Uh, what's the quickest way out? Oh, here. Is that everything in this area? Journal-wise? Have I done all of the... Oh, the fucking grave matter one.
Damn it. Damn it, I forgot about that one. But it's a task, not a quest. It was the very first thing I got given, though, and I failed to do it, which feels bad. But I have absolutely no idea how to... Uh... Where am I going? Oh, over here. I've absolutely no idea how to get the barber to pay up, so... I guess it is what it is. Can't win them all. Faux windows adds beauty and verisimilitude to your frontier home. I have absolutely no no idea what verisimilitude is. But, uh, I, I mean, just looking up at the sky is a nice enough view on its own. Like, damn. This place pretty. This place very pretty. I should probably hit a save, shouldn't I? It's been a while. Is this your ship? Oh my star, she is just so handsome. Does she have a name yet? What's her drive model? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Listen to me babbling. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship. Working on a real engine. Belonging to a proper crew. Edgewater won't last another season without power, but... That don't change the fact that I'm indentured to Spacer's Choice. Company expects me back at my post. Those deserters left Edgewater behind. Nothing keeping you from doing the same. Never been on a ship, what are you telling me? Yeah, come with me. I have imagined it, but... Until you came along, I never thought I had the choice. I want to ask you something, and you can say no. But... Can I come with you? I would love you to. I could tend to your engine. I know my G-valves for my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? Sounds perfect. I'd be glad to have you along, pick a cabin. Are you sure you won't mind? You just met me. I'm not interested. Goodbye, Savage. No, I'd be I'd love to have you join the team. Yes! I mean, thanks. You won't regret this, mister. I'm sure I won't. Captain. I can call you Captain now. Ha! <laughs> I got a captain. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Anything huh? else to say? Nope. Cool. I love it. Hello. Well, I certainly am looking forward to flying on a ship named the Unreliable. I'll <laughs> just head upstairs and claim a room. You do that. <laughs> the reliable, the unreliable. Nice. Wow, Captain, is this it? Are we heading I have off? I detected that the town of Edgewater is now without power. I appreciate you doing your part to hasten their demise. <laughs> what can I do for you, Captain? I have a power regulator. Do you know how to install a power regulator? Uh, engineering 25. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Uh, I mean, uh, you get XP for using these ones, so I'm going to say, yeah, I know what I'm doing, even though I don't. Outstanding, Captain. Your aptitude for engineering will prove invaluable in the event of another catastrophic engine failure. Our engine room is located behind you, across the cargo bay, up the ladders. Awesome. What can I do for you, Captain? Can you give me a refresher on how to fix that thing? Ah, uh, no, it's just where you say it is. Across the cargo bay, up the ladders. I guess you could be playing with waypoints off. Some people much prefer to not have waypoints and stuff in their games. For me, I definitely do, but uh... Okay, I guess I do know how to install it. I thought it would be some complicated thing or something, <laughs> the way she said it. But no, it's literally just push the button. What can I do for you, Captain? I did the thing. All systems are operating within acceptable parameters. Sweet. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. Let's get out of here. We done did it.
to infinity and beyond. Awesome. Against all odds, the unreliable takes flight. Man, that's a cool... A lot of these, a lot of these loading screens would make really good prints. If you could, like, hang them up on your wall and stuff. There are some really cool ones for sure. I like it. Like, I could definitely see me having that up in my bedroom or something. Maybe if it was... I'd probably prefer it if it was a bit more colorized, but, uh... It is really nice. I like it. We have received a communication request from Dr. Phineas Wells. Yeah, what's he say? Good, I've been waiting to hear from him. Ah, there you are. Hale and hearty and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. <laughs> How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing, I assure you. Get to the point. I've been feeling a little lightheaded. Also, I can slow down time. Oh, that, yes, um, that's probably permanent. I wouldn't worry about it, though. I'm sure you're fine. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me, help us, find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Awesome. Can now travel to a bunch of places. Can travel to where he just said, and then still a landing pad, and can travel to him. I'll go have a word with Gladys. Why do I need a nav key to land? Slow down, black market. Or I could put a couple of light years between me and Halcyon. Can't I land somewhere outside? Why do I need a la nav key? Strictly speaking, Monarch is a moon. Terraformed badly. And almost completely lawless. You'll love it. <laughs> Captains don't fly their own ships, you see. Your navigation terminal handles the, uh, you know, navigation. Think of a nav key as a set of flight instructions. The board's been confiscating nav keys for Stellar Bay, so we must rely on unconventional means of acquisition. Hence, Miss Gladys Kelly. Fair enough. The Black Marketeer. Gladys and I have been doing business for years. Her smuggling credentials are unimpeachable. If anyone can get you a key to Monarch, it's her. Uh, don't like the idea of working with a criminal. He's a criminal. That's dumb. I wouldn't say that. Without a skip drive? Good luck. You'll be dead before you make it to the nearest star. Look, I admire your optimism, but the sad truth is you're stuck here. You, me, and the rest of this colony. We're all skating precariously around the edge of oblivion together. None of us are leaving Halcyon alive, so we may as well make it a better place. And we can start by reviving the hope. Fair enough. Fine, I'll go have a word with Gladys. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design. Cutting edge technology years ahead of its time. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the captain's quarters. Okie doke. Marvelous device. I'm quite proud of myself. The shroud changes the user's appearance to mimic that of another. It has limits. First generation technology, you see. But promising. Exciting to see it in use at last. Is that just going to be a way to change Very my character's simply, appearance? The if holographic I want? shroud uses biometric information contained on standard identity cartridges to generate a holographic projection around you. Mention this thing has limitations? Only stands up to a casual scrutiny. Use it too long, bound to flicker, blur, something like that. Movement makes it more likely. Best used in moderation. 
When you see guards in your path, you can't sneak past, for example. Maintain your distance. Act normal. No running, no jumping. Don't draw their attention. If they pay attention, they're more likely to notice flaws in the hologram. Sounds useful. Why do we need a gadget? Can't I just steal a uniform? I'll put it to good use. <laughs> a change of clothes. What is this? Some old spy serial? What inattentive and brainless guard would be fooled by such a shabby disguise? Isn't that what the holographic, the holographic shroud, shroud does though? masks not only your clothes, oh. but your face and fingerprints. It modulates your voice and sweetens your breath. Fair enough. How the hell does a hologram sweeten your breath? Science, that's how. Oh, brilliant. People will actually fall for this? Ha 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 ha! The beauty is they don't expect it. The shroud is the only one of its kind. We humans have a tendency to overlook the unexpected. Fair enough. Activate the disguise, walk past someone. What do they see? A figure dressed like a fellow employee. Don't act odd. They won't focus on you. I'll put it to good use. Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power. But it's a lie. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. Got it. Cool. Very cool. Man. That's gorgeous. It looks fairly like Earth, but then it's got rings around it. I like it. Very much. So this is the navigation terminal. What's the other thing it's pointing me to? Oh, holographic shroud is just above me. Let's just grab that quickly then so that I don't forget it next time because we're going to end off shortly, but let's just uh, get this thing. I didn't actually explore here before, did I? What's in the terminal? Messages for Alex. I forgot to mention, I'm mailing you a copy of my favorite cereal. <laughs> Not board approved. Cheers. Uh, archive messages. Oh my god, there's a lot. Message was hilarious. Groundbreaker comms network. Uh, hmm. Pleasure to see you again. Impounding mix-up. <laughs> Strangest tickling feeling you really do know the Wells fellow. We met when I accidentally impounded your ship. Okay, so I'm reading these backwards. This was the first one, I guess. I think he has a crush on him. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Logs. Shrink ray. Uh, why would you ask if I'm dead? <laughs> With my own two eyes, a super... Sublimely powerful weapon in Wells' lab, just sitting there for the taking. If the grey hair were to look away, or forget about it maybe, or if I'd asked a smidgen more nicely. He called it a shrink ray, but wouldn't let me test that claim after I lost my temper. Said he was inspired to create the thing by the achievements of other scientists who dared to push the boundaries of human knowledge and decency laws. I had heard rumours of fantastical weapons like this one, weapons that pushed the boundaries of the mind and science's cutting edge, but I figured they were just stories, to be honest. Laying the eye... Or well, laying eyes on Wells' shrink ray first hand is enough to make a fella wonder if there's more to the rumours. More to be had. Oh shit, no, that's the wrong one. Two. Last time I got sloshed, I mean, I was imbibing at the Lost Hope on the Groundbreaker. Udon was really free with the drinks. I shamelessly but subtly eavesdropped on two Mardets yammering on about a mad scientist some years back who claimed he'd made a huge discovery that would change the fate of the colony. Like none of us have heard that one before. But here's the good part. The Mardet said the mad scientist kept yelling about the hammer's power. A strange weapon with a special power created by a crazy lab coat? Sure fits the bill. Could be another one of the weapons that inspired Wells. Black Market leads. Why, why, why won't Wells just give the shrink ray to me? Blast him to the depths of Labyrinth on Tartarus and back. 
Let the record show I did apologise for shouting him down five times, but architect be damned it's just sitting there, neglected and gathering dust. I should have commandeered it and thanked him without asking permission, or breaking expensive equipment when he said it wasn't ready yet and that even if it were, he couldn't entrust it to someone like me. What does that even mean, I ask? That I'm not trustworthy enough? That I'd use it to wipe out the good hard-working folks of the colony like some sort of moralist psycho? I'll admit to maintaining some questionable associations, but I follow a strict code of me, myself and mine. What's not to respect in that, exactly? Now I have to wait until Wells forgets or think he's misplaced it. I doubt that'll ever happen. In the meanwhile, I've been tracking down additional rumours pertaining to others of these science weapons throughout Halcyon. If gossip holds true, my next step will be to check with the black market merchants on the Groundbreaker and in Fallbrook. Interesting. Weapons from the Void. Acquire Finis's science weapon. Acquire, size, acquire the science weapon on Groundbreaker. Interesting. Oh, this is my own storage space. I can keep stuff in here if I want. The Holographic Shroud. The Holographic Shroud projects a disguise on you and your companions that gives you access to restricted areas provided you have the correct ID cartridge. Restricted areas are off-limits to unauthorized personnel and otherwise result in being attacked on sight. 14,000 XP? That's got to be a fucking level up. Surely? No? Oh, it's like a millimeter off being a level up. Oh my god. 14,000 XP. Oh, I haven't been all the way up here either, have I? What on earth are you? There's no response from the auto-mechanical unit. A serial number etched on its chassis includes the letters Sam. Can ask Ada about him. Okay. <laughs> Photo of Pavati's father. A stern, old man with warm eyes. Aww. This is the bunk she's chosen then, I suppose. Banged up tool books. Don't want to get stuffed up. <laughs> Let me pick up all of this. Thanks for the kind offer, Pavati, of giving me all your stuff. I appreciate it. The modern steel wrench and you. Heavily dog-eared. Uh, anything else? I think that's all I need from there. Can't look at that. Doesn't look like anything in here. Hello. Can't talk to you? The art and science of Tossball. <laughs> That's the sport in this bit of space, I guess. And Tossball trading cards. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Index of banned literature. He does love his banned literature, doesn't he? Man, there's a lot to see up here that I missed, apparently. Nothing in here. Very nice, very nice indeed. And the lose. <laughs> Lovely. Who needs a ladder? Hey, Pavati, you got anything to say? Yeah, so this is my hiding spot now. Sweet. I was looking for a place that was quiet. I figured the kitchen would be louder than the hold, so here I am. Cozy like, ain't it? Sure is. What do you think of the ship? That's in pretty good shape considering how hard Mr. Hawthorne ran it. It's a Yakita LHA 120 A2 model, I'm pretty sure. You know your stuff. The design scooshed in extra cargo space but didn't change the stock engines. Probably a touch underpowered, huh? Accurate in all particulars. I conclude you are Edgewater's board certified mechanic. That's the ship's computer. Not intelligent, but does a good imitation. <laughs> Ada's the one who flies it. Ada, how about you not <laughs> invite yourself in? Fly by wire's pretty normal. Or at least ways that's what I read in the trades. I've never been on a real ship before. Hello! I am not a board certified mechanic, but my dad was. He taught me all he knew. Do you understand? Speech recognition is one of the many skills I have been programmed to simulate. You're not simulating it, you're doing it! I asked a question and you answered it. I am gratified you consider this facsimile convincing. <laughs> 
What do you think, Pavati? Is it safe to fly now we've got the regulator? I expect your full cooperation. I don't see any holes in the hull. I'll take a good squint at her, make sure everything's tip top. But I think we're cooking with plasma torches. Sweet. You can do that, you know. My dad taught me how to make grilled cheese sandwiches with a plasma torch. Did you learn your trade from your father? I think we know that she did. Mostly, yeah. I lived in the maintenance office near all my life. Mr. Thompson never let me forget how funny that was. I don't see the humor. <laughs> Hmm. Not on the regular. Once in a great long while, a Saltuna boat would break down on the pad. He'd always bring me along for those. Mostly, he did the same as me. Kept Bess, I, I mean, the, the cannery, running. Turned the loaders, plumbing and electricity, some plastering. I never got the hand of that. He meant funny as in odd. It's not normal for anyone to do as their parents. You take a vocational test. That decides your schooling and your career. When I tested out for maintenance, everyone figured it was on account of my dad. They were real unhappy with us. Hmm. But you are actually good at it. Well, because they were hoping their own kid would get the job and get sent back to Edgewater. When folk go away for schooling, they don't get back to where they begun. Not usually. You go straight to your first job, wherever the company's got an opening. That is very cruel. Well, it ain't exactly cruel to have the promise of a paying job. And that's all it is. You go where the company needs you. Where your skills do the most good. But you actually are good at this and you enjoy it. Well, I'm good at making things work the way they ought. Not so much at doing such to somebody else's schedule. There's times I'm working deep in the guts of a loader, getting it all running perfect. Then I look up to see it's tomorrow, and I've blown another deadline. Anyhow, I, I was happy to get back home. I didn't care much for schooling. <laughs> yeah, can tell. You moved straight back to Edgewater, didn't like classes. Oh, there were a whole lot of reading, and not nearly enough doing. Like, before they'd issue you a wrench, they wanted an essay on the design of different wrenches. Then there'd be quizzes on company regulations for storage and maintenance of wrenches. Sounds rubbish. <laughs> as soon as I got permission, I spent all my time in the machine shop. They had all manner of parts, but they didn't want me using them, so I had to sneak them sometimes. I even slept in there. Had a hammock tied up in the rafters. Before I left, I installed a little skylight for myself so I could see the stars. Build anything fun? When an engine came in, I'd strip it down and rebuild it. I mostly built for myself. Custom tools. Little mechanical critters to talk to. When my roommates tried to talk, I'd get so nervous I'd be drenched in sweat. It was easier for everybody when I stayed off on my own. I doubt any of them remember me now. I can't believe how deep this conversation tree goes. This is fantastic. Yep, nothing much had changed. Everything was a little grayer, a little dirtier. Dad met me at the shuttle and gave me a big old hug. I noticed straight away that he was moving slower and stiffer. He made a little grunt when I squeezed. Aww. Did you get much time with him? About a year. I tried to do more of the work so he could rest. His heart gave him pains. Dad never said that he loved me, you know? I, I knew on account of him showing it. How he'd stay up late to help with my projects, or listen to my fretting. Oh gosh, <laughs> look at the time. Sorry to bend your ear so long. And I got so much to do before this ship's in decent shape. I think it's time you move along. Is that telling her to leave the ship? I don't want to do that. I can't tell if that- is that telling her to leave the ship? I want to click it, but I'm not sure. I'm not going to do it because in case it does just like banish her and that's it. Because <laughs> that would be the worst. I guess I could, I guess I could actually save. If I save now and then. No, I want to talk to you. And then try it, see what happens. 
I could probably spend years fixing this boat, stem to stern. I think it's time you move along. What? You want me to leave? Captain, you can't mean it. On second thought, I still need you. Remove Pavati from party permanently. Pack your things, you're done here. Christ. Oh, that's a relief. Thanks, Captain, for letting me stick around. I mean... Okay. <laughs> Wasn't sure if it would... Yeah, it's, it's fine. It let me... Let me do that right. What's this about Sam? Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Know anything about the automechanical gathering dust in the janitor's closet? The unit is a cleaning, Sam. Hawthorne brought it on board some cycles ago, I'm sure with the intent to modify it. But I've never seen it up and running. Alex likely recorded progress notes detailing his efforts to modify Sam. If you check the terminal in your captain's quarters, we may be able to determine what work remains in order for Sam to properly operate. Cool. In the mood for some Certainly, entertainment. Captain. What would you like to hear? Tell me a joke. My violence inhibitors are a joke. No, really. I only keep them enabled because of how funny they are. Okay. Not gonna get her to play a song in case it's copyright. As you wish, Captain. I must comply with all direct orders. I have lots of minutes. Many minutes. Unlimited minutes, perhaps. Providing an adequate power source, I can function indefinitely. Uh, what if you don't have a power source? I prefer to think of it as being in a state of slumber. Perhaps for an indefinite duration of time. Do you think that is what it's like for the colonists on A Lost Hope? Could be. When I simulate myself in such a scenario, I do not find it to be desirable. I think my self-preservation protocols incline me to desire the alternative. And what might that be? Traveling the system with you, Captain. Nice. Well, you got your wish. What about your last, Captain? Do you know what it feels like when the ship undergoes an unexpected power surge? A jolt to the system. I have felt that. I do feel that. As you may be aware, Captain Alex Hawthorne was a smuggler of some repute. I failed to predict the likely outcome of his reckless behavioral patterns. I should have predicted that. In our travels together, Alex liked to pass time by, as he called it, tinkering to improve my design. Have there been other captains? We both know I'm not we're not gonna say that one, because she has to. Yeah, we've we've had that conversation. If you mean was Captain Hawthorne my first? Yes, he was. Feels bad. How can I be of assistance? What part of the colony would you like to discuss? Oh my god, there's a lot. Ah uh, yes. As Dr. Wells is a wanted outlaw, he built his laboratory into an asteroid. Orbital destinations can be challenging to land on. His more so than most. What do you know about him? There is a bounty on his head. One with a markedly high reward amount. Shall I engage the laser weapon system? <laughs> no, make it so. I mean... <laughs> No. A sensible choice, as we do not <laughs> have any laser weapons. <laughs> Why do you say the landing might the be rough? The outlaw scientist known as Dr. Phineas B. Wells has taken a measure of precautions to make the lab undetectable to those hunting him. Even knowing the location, my systems resist my orders to go where I instruct them. Hmm. Uh, I want to ask about somewhere else. Of course. What part of the colony would you like to discuss? The groundbreaker? We'll off with the groundbreaker, if that's your desired destination. If we're going there, please be sure all docking forms have been filed in triplicate and fees have been paid. The Mardettes take their docking laws quite seriously. Okay. You can take care of that for us, right? I can, yes. Let me add that to my list of 1,435,498 tasks I am simultaneously executing in order to run our ship. Point taken. 
Great, thanks. I won't do it without the lip. You are more than welcome, Captain. Give me the spiel. The Groundbreaker was Halcyon's original colony ship. It has since been repurposed as a service station in the Lagrange point of the system. Freighters often deliver or pick up goods from the Groundbreaker en route to other destinations. The city ship hosts an array of cargo bays, factories, housing sections, and more. Many of Halcyon's companies maintain office spaces with stationed representatives in what is considered a truly neutral territory within the system. I have filed the required docking forms in triplicate, and fees have been paid. Thank you. Of course. What part of the colony would you like to discuss? Uh, Terra 2. Where in Terra 2? Emerald Vale and Edgewater. Edgewater is the sparkling county seat of Emerald Vale, or it was when first built. Since then, neglect and time have worn away her shiny veneer. The town is near the coordinates where Captain Hawthorne died. It would not be unfortunate if something, like say, a plague, were to wipe Emerald Vale from the face of the planet. <laughs> What do you think of the townspeople? You mean the ones who did not answer my distress call with medical assistance, but instead came to issue my injured captain a parking ticket? I'm sure they are wonderful humans who don't deserve to be wiped out by starvation <laughs> or a devastating plague. Love it. And how is it faring now? Since you diverted power to the deserters, the botanical lab is thriving. However, Emerald Vale's cannery shut down, leading to a total collapse of Edgewater's population. Thank Whoops. You, Captain. You're welcome. <laughs> of course. What part of the colony would you like to discuss? Monarch. Where in Monarch? Stella Bay. Ah, Monarch, the armpit of the Halcyon system. <laughs> Her last functioning port town is Stellar Bay. Well, that is if you don't count Sublight Smuggler's Port at Fallbrook. Uh, Smuggler's Port? It's sublight run for the purpose of shipping contraband. And before you ask, I don't know the coordinates, so I can't dock us there. Fair enough. I believe it has something to do with the planet being an uninhabitable wilderness, and a lawless land with no corporate presence. Sounds you good. You may wish to survey the residents in Stellar Bay for additional data points. I'll be sure to do that. Of course. What part of the colony would you like to discuss? Where in Monarch? Cascadia. Warning. All colonists are urged to reconsider travel to Cascadia due to infestation of mantasaurs and risk of indefinite detention or death. Uh, any people live there aside from marauders? What's the local report? Sound dangerous? The local report is that you will very likely die if you leave Cascadia's landing pad. Interesting. <laughs> there are no people aside from marauders in Cascadia. There is only death. <laughs> this is one of those times where you say one word but really mean another, isn't it? I suppose you would find an environment like this fun. It's certainly possible. <laughs> uh, right, talk about something else. Is that it? Is that everything chatted about? I think so. May luck be with you. Of course, as I am sure you are aware, luck does not exist. But it seems to comfort humans to believe they possess good quantities of it. <laughs> Sweet. Level up. Very nice, very nice. Hmm. Kind of want to boost these up to 30. Hmm. Kind of want to boost these up to 30 as well. I don't know. Kind of want to get this up to 50 as well. Oh, choices, choices, choices. Does this mean... Because it says my working thing is 18 instead of 23, but it still looks like the base skill is unlocked, so... 
I don't know whether if I go up to a vending machine now with this on, is it not going to let me sell to it? I feel like it still would. Can't remember if we've already tested that theory. I would quite like that. Hmm. The sneak attack one. Attack unaware enemies while crouched deal bonus damage. That could be very good. But that would be all seven points. All seven? Not all seven. It would just it would be seven points. Eh. Sod it. Let's do it. I think that I think even though it takes me down five, I think I still get the base skill, right? It's just the other stuff that is affected. I think. Uh and then let's put the last three into dialogue so next time we can get Lion Intimidate up to 30 for skill checks. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Vicar Max. Hello. <laughs> I guess we can take him out with us now if you can take two people at once. He's got a shotgun and a telescoping staff. Sure, if that's what you, if that's what you want, my dude. Um, did she say that there was something in the captain's quarters? Uh, not in here. Is this, is this the captain's quarters? Was it something on here? Ah, search term Sam. First Sam result. Do not forget, you found a discarded sanitation and maintenance auto mechanical and emerald veils scrap heap. Shouldn't be too difficult to get up and running. Can make it a clean, mean killing machine. Should be fun. Removal of factory standard parts suds steeper was successful. Delivery of combat modified replacement part acid steeper has been delayed. <laughs> Progress setback is estimated to be three months. Not like I have more pressing matters to attend to. Ah, uh, but I do. Third result. Giving up hope on the delivery. Feels bad. The part is lost in transit and it's not turning up anytime soon, but good news. I heard from a fellow who knows a gal, who knows the broker, who overcharged me for the information regarding the location of an acid sleep steeper I can, uh, filch. The part was sent to an old storage facility in Roseway. I sure never thought I'd go back to that pit. Good thing Auntie, Auntie abandoned it years ago. I'll pick it up following this next pit stop back to Emerald Vale. Wells wants me to chaperone some person of interest. Details to come later. Cool. So I just need to go back to an old storage facility in Roseway, but I don't know where Roseway is. But that's pretty neat. I wonder if Ada knows anything about Roseway? You heard of it? Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Uh, what part of the colony would you like to discuss? Have you got a new option for Roseway? No, you don't. Okay. How can I be of assistance? Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Okay, I think that will be... Is that the airlock? Transition... Oh, right, we're still on the landing pad. Um, I think that will be where we leave it for today. Let me just see if I need to uh, repair anything. That's at 91... Wait, I don't, I'm not equipped, that's not equipped, is it? Maybe it is. Hmm. 99, 98, 98, 91, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, so, yes, great success today. We have got off the starter planet, and when we return, we'll be heading to, I'm not sure, we've got options, we've got options. Ground, ground something, ground breaker or something. Uh, we could go to Finis's lab, I think. Although she said that it's hard to land there, so maybe you can't actually do that. Um... We've got this Sam robot. I wonder if we can make him a companion. That'd be pretty fucking cool. If you can make that robot one of your companions. I would definitely like that. And uh, yeah, I've got to say, I'm loving the game. Oh. Why is that one locked? <laughs> What's in here? Hmm. 
Not going to find out now. Maybe some point. Yeah, I'm loving it. This is fantastic. This is just what I needed at the moment. And uh, I can't wait for the next couple months or however long it will take me to get through this. Uh, it's super fun. And maybe I will end up doing all the side quests because they actually seem fleshed out and stuff. I like it. I like it a lot. If you like it too, then if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around. Share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I will see you back here next time for more The Outer Worlds. Thanks for watching. See you then.